So I've been playing a lot of Project Zomboid recently, and I mean a lot. I took a long break from playing the game since last year, and recently within the past month have gotten reintroduced to the game and I've even made a private server to play on with my friends. Naturally, it's only so long that I play a game before I look for all the cool mods that can make the experience even more immersive or add cool mechanics and features that seem exciting to play with. Ultimately, I found a mod that has been increasing in popularity and is becoming a personal favorite of mine, one that you could argue is a game-breaking change. Um, however, within moderation in the proper settings, I think this mod can actually be a really enjoyable experience, and so far me and my friends on my server are finding it very enjoyable. So without further ado, let's get to the basics of the Weapons Modifier mod for Project Zomboid. Now I don't know about you guys, but this mod even in the description, it very much so gives me Terraria-like vibes. And if you know anything about me and Terraria, we have a very great relationship. Literally been playing that game from way back when I could make a video on that too. But that is a sidetrack, that is a tangent. This is not um geometry. Physics, what are tangents in again? Forget. But um, this mod, it has four different modules with obviously the first one being the mandatory base for the mod to function and three other optional modules in order for you to best get the experience that you want from this mod. These optional modules include the extensive modifier list, which adds the full force of the Terraria nostalgia-like with an extensive list of traits with seven different levels of rarities. With the modifier names like Murderous, Berserk, Small, and even Legendary. And still, I've been playing this for like a few days now and I've still not seen like the legendary modifier so that mess is rare these traits can even have levels similar to the enchantment system in minecraft like strong 2 or bulky 4 so all in all when you're like looking for these if you're playing with extensive just get ready for the fully fledged experience like there's even like rare ones within each category that have like their own names like unique names that have very low percent chances of getting them and then obviously you have like your commons your badge your horribles your, your greats, your rares, your epics, you know, kind of like a, a battle royale, but there's negatives. There's like lower than commons as well. The second optional modifier or module that you can get is the realistic modifier list, which adds less diversity in the list of traits. For example, it includes modifier names like quality, five star, bent, damage, rusty, sharp, things that are more feasible to a more realistic, more, I don't want to say balanced, but just a little more realism and like the scope of the things that they do to the weapons and tools is focused more on realism. Naturally, because of this, there are less of these. If you're playing with the realistic one, there's only three tiers. There's only like bad, common, and good or something like that. It says on the page, you can check all this out, but there's not as many tiers. And uh, yeah, if you're going for the realism, I mean, it's kind of like the light version, you know, you get the real, more realistic experience. Um, this is the one I originally started playing on. And then I started balling out and got on the extensive, never going back. The extensive is just fun. Did it break the balance of my game? Maybe I'll make another video and let y'all let y'all know. But as, as, as of now, I am having so much fun with it. Also, a quick side note, if you are using the realistic module modifiers, you will not be able to use these modifiers on ranged weapons. Using the realistic modifier preset, these um, traits and things will not be able to apply to ranged weapons, only melee. So only swinging and missing, you can't do none of that with your, your bullets, no gun mods, no vanilla guns, it's not gonna work with them. If you want those to apply to them, switch over to the extensive. The last optional module that the mod includes is the tinkering skill and character trait. This module allows you to tinker different tools and weapons which effectively re-rolls their modifier. Obviously, this can end up positively or negatively for you, so the choice is yours. However, as you build up your tinkering skill, your character will become more efficient and have a higher percent chance at creating more beneficial or powerful modifiers for your gear. This module also adds the five volumes of the tinkering skill books and the tinkering magazine that is actually required in order for you to even get into tinkering in the first place. If you didn't spawn in with the tinkerer trait, then you must find this magazine. Uh, you can find it in, you know, bookstores. Uh, I, you'll love the community college or community center in uh, March Ridge. Uh, or even in, I'm pretty sure, mailboxes and stuff, you know? You can find them, bro. And that wraps up a great mod. I would definitely recommend trying out the Weapons Modifier mod if you really want to alter the experience of Project Zomboid, if you've played vanilla, if you've tried other mods and you really just want to mix it up. Me and my friends are definitely using this. Like I said, I 
first played the realistic module and then I moved over to the extensive. Uh, we're having a really great time with this mod, so I would definitely recommend trying it out. It might break the, if you're trying to make this a, a mostly realistic, difficult thing, this may not be the mod because this is going to add some a legendary trait on an ax. I'm a, it's not realistic, but you know, um, we got to have fun sometimes unless you want to add, what are you going to play sprinters? You can play sprinters, add something to, to balance it out. I don't know. That's what I might do. But anyways, without further ado, if y'all like the video, let me know. I think after this, I'm going to record a mod about Project Zomblade servers because for some reason, there's really not that much information about them and I had to figure it out myself so I might make a video for anybody who's in the same boat I love y'all hope y'all have a great day night evening morning wherever y'all are at uh don't forget to subscribe if you liked and uh I catch y'all on the flap yeah you know I got bars and they numerous like stars about to do my thing get bread and maybe draw some flashy cars you know who I am I'm your boy Jake and I'm not fake but I don't know how much more y'all haters can take listen I ain't done I love to shake and bake and then I freaking hit them with the frying pan you know I'm the man